Welcome back, I'm GTGD and this is video 17 where I'll talk about tile map sorting order. Uh, and the way I'll do it is by showing you the player appear behind or in front of a large tree uh, based on their Y position in the screen. And the same applies to the trees themselves, how they appear relative to each other and, other, and relative to other objects in the game. It's very easy to do, uh, but the first thing to do is let's just go make a, make a really quick tree. Uh, let's just go draw that. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to add a new layer here. Turn off the other one. And just call it something like large uh, tree. Okay, and I'm going to use the paintbrush tool inside of that. Make sure it's like this brush, it's easy to use. Uh, brush size like six. I'm going to start with the trunk. So I'll go to the browns, pick something uh, pretty easy, and just start drawing something pretty rough like that. Uh, that should do, and then just add a circular, so if a base, okay, good, just color it in a bit, add a bit of branching there, something like that, just fill it in really fast. Okay, and then let's go pick some greens, let's do something with that too. I think this one looks alright, so I'm just going to pick that, just go around like that. It's really crude tree. It's all of those uh, primary school skills are now coming into play here. So yeah, let's just fill it in. I can probably use the paint bucket too, so let's just do that. All right, good, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead back to the brush and I'm gonna start using different shades. I can also use the lighten and darken tool, but in this case, I think this is gonna work a bit better. And there's some areas where I just want it to be a lot darker. I'm gonna make the left side in general uh, considerably darker than the right side, but I'm just going to make some pockets of darkness too, just to add some variation into here. Uh, and I'll just make, put some lightness on this side, just like that, fill in those areas like that, just fill it in nicely. And why don't I pick another shade, that same middle shade, fill in these empty spaces here, make sure there's nothing empty. It is going to be a uh, translucent um, it's going to be translucent uh, because it's a PNG. So anything that's not filled here, it will be see-through. So you'll actually see objects behind, like the player and stuff, will be visible behind. I'm just going to make that a bit dark over there. Just add a dark patch here and there, just to make it a bit more interesting near the branches as well. Just close that off a bit. Yeah, just a bit on the outside there. I just add a bit of lightness as well on the very edge. So just a bit, add a bit in the center like that. Okay, that's a bit in there. Well, actually, I should also add, I should add because, and now that's not right. I should put the light on the very edge. That doesn't look quite right. There, yeah, that, that sort of makes it look like it's more in front. Oh, well, just, that's to me anyway. And the darker patch makes it looks like there's something in between uh, going deeper inside. So anyway, I'll try uh, doing a bit around here so it doesn't look so uh, straight. Oh, yeah, I don't want it looking too straight. And I'll do the same now for the browns. So now I'm going to go to the brown colors. And I'm going to try and you know, lighten it up a bit, some parts of it like there, a little bit. Just put a little bit of lighter tone on that just around the base as well uh take this one yeah, a bit bit around like there just like that just sort of uh even that out a bit yeah just put in a little bit of interference not too much okay and that's starting to look a little bit more interesting i might just strengthen the branch a little bit lot probably lost a bit of strength in the coloring there uh, i think that's a bit too much of the the one color there so I'll try and uh, just break that up a little bit. Uh, what I can do as well to make it just a, a little bit more interesting as well, uh, I'll add some orange into it as if it was some, you know, like some flowers or it's some fruit or something like that in the tree. Just add a little bit in there like that and like that. And I think that's about it. That's going to do for our experimental uh, tree here. Uh, so anyway, it's pretty rough. So I'll just uh, download that, and it will work as a good example. And of course, I'll save out my pixel as well, and I've been calling it pixel art. So let's just do that. Okay.
Okay, I'm in Unity. I've copied over the large tree and uh, usually, you know, I'll set it at 64, but this time around I'm going to set it to like 32 uh, pixels per unit. It's going to make it a lot larger. It's going to make it double the size and I'll just change it to full rect uh, and I'm going to change the pivot here. Uh, it'll make sense in a moment. Why don't I just drag it here into the into my tile palette, make a asset here, and uh, and I'll just hit apply as well while I'm at it. So just apply these changes so far, and you can see that the tree is its base is sitting well below into the tile below it. I don't want that. I want it to be a bit above. I want it to be more above, uh, so that way its physics shape will be there. And uh, I don't know, it just seems to work out better anyway with the whole sorting. Uh, etc. So I'm just, I'm just going to change the pivot to custom and change it to like 0.32 in the Y and then go ahead and hit apply and that really pushed it up. It looks a lot better. I'll change these other settings, change it to 64, hit apply. And that's pretty much that. Uh, so I've got that done, but I need to just adjust its sprite. You can do it two ways. You can click on here, sprite editor, and uh, you can also come here and edit it that way uh, and why am i going to do that so let's go ahead let's go ahead and put some of these down so that way you can uh see what that what i'm trying to do so first off uh, i should check the tree select the trees layer i'll just turn off the nav mesh for now and uh, select the tree and that's what i want to paint so let's go ahead let's get this selected come on there we go that's better and now i'll go ahead and start putting some of these trees here and oh well not there that's right right on my hills and stuff so i want to put it over here and you can immediately see there's some weird sort of stuff going on but it looks totally unnatural uh you know that clearly the tree should not one should not be appearing in front of the other like that it looks truly awkward so let's make our forest here of these large trees Okay, and obviously if I make the nav mesh, it's not going to be ideal. If I show the mesh, you can see that that is really not ideal at all. Uh, so we need to adjust, you know what it is that we need to adjust, because you can see that it's the collider on the tree. Because otherwise the player also can't walk between the trees, the player can't even walk behind the tree uh, with this sort of a setup. So we just need to adjust the collider. So very, very simple. Let's go to the sprite editor. We go to the custom physics shape, and we just need to drag select uh, where we want to draw it and that's it and then uh, more or less I think I just have to hit apply oops just there we go that's better hit apply and just hope it applies it can be a little bit temperamental uh, in getting it to refresh and actually um, yeah there we go so you have to sometimes you have to check and uncheck the tile map collider to get it to recognize the new collider uh, shape. So that's what I had to do. I mean, otherwise I was, I was just hoping it's going to recognize it, but it was, it was not, it was not bothering to. So anyway, I'll rebake that. So that's a lot better. Now that is the, how would you say the nav mesh and stuff sorted, but it doesn't fix our issue of sorting order, right? Uh, you can still see that what one tree is appearing in front of the other and stuff. And the same will happen with the player. It'll be look really confusing. What you have to do is you have to change your mode, uh, rendering mode on your tile map from chunk to individual. That's the first step. This, by the way, that's why I've made a trees layer. This, by the way, would add a lot of inefficiency to your project because chunk is all about efficiency and just rendering a whole lot of stuff together. But now you're in rendering each uh, sprite basically individually. So yeah, try and not do that on layer that's full of stuff. Try to keep it for a special layer like this, which has these big trees. Uh, my sort order is going to be from top left and that is suddenly fixing that weirdness up as you can see it looks it looks much better now suddenly one is appearing in front of the other like it should but that may not be enough there's another thing that you should look at as well inside of the universal render pipeline asset renderer the transparency sort mode i'm going to change it from default to custom axis and have that enabled so you want your transparency sort axis with y equal to one and this will help the player appear in front or behind the tree otherwise if you don't enable that uh, the player may well be in front of the tree even though that they should be behind so let's go ahead have a look at that just go down here 
uh, to our trees. Let's see what happens when our player goes there. Great, the player is behind the tree completely. And let's say they come down here. You can see that the player is appearing in front of the base of the tree. So that is working great. And when they're going up there, they're appearing behind. It's working like how I would hope and expect it to. So that is fantastic. So that is sorting orders defined there. It is really easy when you know what to do. It's super duper simple and it looks really nice as well. And yeah, you can just imagine the possibilities where your player can actually hide. Imagine if it were multiplayer, that would be a lot more fun. Makes me think I need to do a, a maybe perhaps I need to do a multiplayer project next. Anyway, going off track and off topic. And that's, um, I think, I think that's pretty much that here. I think that's, that's really what I wanted to show, uh, in this video. So it was a, it was another nice and easy, uh, video here. In the next video, I'll cover animated tiles and that will actually be it, uh, for this series. We'll have you know, covered quite a lot with respect to uh, 2D game tile map usage and uh, a bit of coding as well. So anyway, all right, so that's it for this and I'll see you in the next video.